Right guys, this is Supermodel 3, it's a Sega Model 3 emulator and I knew this was going to be a little shit to actually do to start with I've done it a few years ago and it's still a pain in the ass but I can never get Star Wars to work this time I have got Star Wars to work um, I followed loads of tutorials because I was having trouble with mouse and joypad at the same time and there's one that said it was X input and everything was working bollocks in it and I followed another one that said um, different configuration um, and all this worked no bollocks did it so because I was a bit dubious to start with because it said it was X input which X input is just normally for controllers and you got direct input which is normally for controllers and um, the mouse and keyboard but I couldn't combine the two together no matter what I did I can, couldn't get the mouse controllers to work with X input which I didn't think they would anyway because it doesn't make sense so I've made two different versions you've got one for the joypad and you've got one for the mouse so they're both the same configuration graphics wise so if we launch this is one for the gamepad I've got this a bit further up in the video because uh, this one got deleted by accident so I had to do it again so you got your video which is a bit further on in the video it says about these to use um, stretch instead of widescreen otherwise the mouse don't get go to the edge of the screen for the light gun games sound it's always so so loud on emulators I have no idea why they don't get it right controls I have a list of controls here you got one for one player start two for two player start three for coins four for two player coins uh, obviously I can't test two players because I haven't got two people here um, and you've got service A, service B and test menu and sometimes five is also coins but it should all be now set to free play Star Wars is a different one altogether to start the game you have to use the middle mouse button you can um, configure all the keys it's set as an Xbox 360 controller and the controls are very confusing very hard and a real pain in the ass to do each game you gotta go through and do all the configuration for one player, two player light gun games and they can go on and 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 I'm a nun so I wouldn't bother change any of them especially Star Wars change Star Wars you get a black screen it won't load it'll crash and it'll go tits up fanny up and so don't bother so the crosshairs you can have one player or two player it doesn't matter on this version because this is just for the gamepad and this one's for the oh like gun games and I've got it just the crosshairs on player one right also in the um, video you have widescreen if you want a widescreen don't have don't use widescreen use stretch because with widescreen if you're trying to use like the gun games and that it will look widescreen 
but your crosshair will only go 4.3 so it won't go to the edge of the screen so make sure you use stretch not widescreen most of these you can just leave the same because everyone's got more than two cores now well I hope if not you are running a potato so remember just to make sure it's on stretch guys Now this is Dirt I mean, Devils. This one takes a bit to load. And obviously it depends on your system. Some games take longer than others. And if the emulator don't work, scream shout and check your computer out the window. That's what I felt like doing with this bloody twatty thing. Okay.
bastard. That devil is going to be a quick one today, so it can't be off. Go back in the test menu, which was six. And screen space reflection data code. It's like glass. you hit the more life he loses. Especially my driving. Get out the way. Oh, ass, oh, you fucking retard twat. No, he's definitely going to die. Yeah, I am as well now. Ah. Oh, there you go, guys. <laughs> Imagine if she cool. Right, this is fighting Vipers 2. Oh, 
Let the action begin. Go! Oh, block them. Yeah, that's fighting Vipers 2. Right, this is Harley Davidson. Right, I'm gonna put it on free play again. Oh. AK-47 there. Guys, that's Harley Davidson. Right, this is Magical Truck Adventure. I haven't tried this one yet.
well done. Yay, cool man. Right, <laughs> that is um magical truck adventure. That was quite fun. You know, Scud Race uh, just reminds me of Ted Race or Scum Racer. Dry board, not present. The hunt for Bigfoot, or the famous dogman, continues to this day, and this video serves as a reminder mm. of just how inclusive they got to change. If you get that, you got to go into game assignments normally um, and put it as single cabinet type dealer exit. There we go. Suddenly, a strange and almost ghostly figure appears in the distance, running at an incredibly fast speed. As the figure moves across the screen, it becomes clear that this is the human creature. The creature's form is difficult to discern in the darkness and blurriness of the video, but it appears to be fully white. You know, I never played this one in the arcade. Whoa! Oh, ass! Quite twitchy on the controls. Oh, get off the wall. That's what that does. <laughs> Could call it turd racer, spaz racer, twat racer, but scud. Just sounds really horrible. Oh, didn't want to do that. I'll go back to this view. No, I won't. Oh, he slides out like a shit bag. Maybe that's why they call it Scud. I'm not doing very well, am I? Alright, guys, that's Ted Racer. Take like a bass fishing. That was that one there. Right, this is Sega Rally 2. Three, two, 
Say you're on ET. Right, this is Ski Champ. If I move on, as the footage begins, we see a small fox gingerly making its way across the backyard. I don't want to set up any more controls if I don't have to. Oh, no, it's working. You know, you can't beat some of these arcade games just for pure arcade like stuff. I know I am! Uh oh, I'm going to die. I thought I was going to die then. Oh, I've got. Oh, I've got, um. Triggers that are. Oh, <laughs> I, I just went through a mountain. I'm indestructible. I'm I'm young. I might be 50 keys, but I've got a mental age of like 10. That worked quite well, actually. Fucking pink prick pushing me into the thingy. Ski racer guys. For some reason, I had to press Alt oh, F4 to get out of that one. Then, right, this is Spy Count. It's only done on your controller to start the game.
like a spike out. Right, this is virtual strike is two, I think it was. And I have no idea from where this is and what exactly is happening. If anyone has any idea, then please let me know. England versus Sweden. Kick off. Fuck me, this is super fast, man. Virtual Strikers 2 Right, this is Virtual Fighters 3 To protect oneself from Navajarka It is suggested to avoid traveling alone at night Especially in remote areas This game is only used in Japan or Rambler's Arcade Whether this is a real life encounter with Navajarka or not Right, I'm going to put it on free plays So it's 5 then seven. This video is five is actually um insert coin, but but once they open it, they are met in the middle of the night with the sight of a goat with glowing eyes sitting exactly at the straight at them. The goat is not aggressive, but it's an unexpected and well, it's not liking that one. Leaving the person who opened the door going up and down the menus. That's on button five then. Trying to communicate um, or seeking shelter. The person behind the camera is clearly spooked and can be heard muttering in disbelief, wondering what to do. No, it's not that one. It's not that one either. That one. It's an unnerving sight, leaving us wondering what the goat's intentions are. <sighs> Bastard. Kiss your ass. I know it says no actually hit Marco where you actually hit the person. Fuck off. I won. That's virtual fight. It's three guys. 